All right, what's up? This is Alex with Landscaping Experts. We got Stan here. We came oh, to the. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I was like, <laughs> you gonna be like Julia? <laughs> All right, what's up? This is Alex with Landscaping Experts. We're here at the Illinois Landscape Show. We're here to look at, uh, you know, one, network, and then number two is look at what we have that's new for 2023. And obviously, we're going to try to show you guys as much as possible. What are you here to look at, Stan? <laughs> we're going to see what they got, you know, not even a year ago today. I didn't even know what a paper was, so I'm excited. Let's get it. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> What's up, Alex? What's up, man? What's, What's up, man? How, are you? How you been? How we doing, right. man? You got him one? There's no him. way he didn't steal the show. <laughs> So we're here with Manny from Illinois Landscape Supply. Reason I'm here with them, and I definitely want to get this on camera is because they've been a huge, huge part to our success. All the way back to where I didn't know what a paver was. I didn't know how to price this stuff out. And him as a distributor, I mean, he didn't have to take the time to show me how to, you know, how to, how to even estimate these things. So I'm really, really grateful for them being, you know, a part of my success. Like I said, all the way from estimating to where we're at now supplying us with anything we need even from a truckload all the way to 10 semis a week they're there 24 7 so i just i want to say thank you and like i said i really definitely want to have this on camera because I'm, I'm beyond grateful alex thank you very much for the introduction as he said i'm manny from illinois landscape supply you know i've known alex for quite a while now we got to know each other over the years and uh you know it worked very well together uh really grateful and appreciative of alex and his crew what they do for us both as a customer and as a friend as well. And we look forward to a really exciting future here. We've got a great season of coming. And uh, you know, like you said, anything from uh, a sample all the way to a 10 semis a week, we're ready to go. So, you know, as always, anything you need, let us know. Yeah, now you know, in the landscape supply is where to go. Once again, we're uh, here with another one of our uh, partnerships that we value very, very much. It was actually who brought us here today. I don't want to say he pressured us to come. I've never been here, so uh, he was he was. I kind pressured of, him. Yeah. I did. <laughs> Let's be honest. Yeah. Him to do it. He was kind enough to get us tickets and, and bring us here. So I want. I just want to say I'm, I'm very, very thankful for the partnership that we've had. So I guess we can go into asking you questions like why Belgard and not any other. We don't have to name any names, but. Why Belgard? Why why would we choose Belgard? I mean, I know my reasons. I have a lot of them. Why choose Belgard is because we are truly we're going to bring the support. Is what it boils down to. Myself, my team, pretty much Belgard as a whole, our whole company. We're going to take that extra mile, that extra step, do what we have to do to make sure that contractors such as Alex with the landscaping experts that they're truly taken care of. Because when when they're successful. It, you know, in return, we're successful. So we want to really, really bring together that partnership and grow that way. Another thing I want to talk about, what um, what new products do you guys have for this year? So this is our Brooklyn accent. This is our midnight color. Oh, what's nice about this, it is a three by nine accent. It's got a face mix and it's inline sealed from our factory, giving you a nice popping rich black color, really accenting that main course or main paver course. We've got another color right here. This is our rosewood, almost like a, uh, let's say a soft brown burgundy. And not to mention the Truescapes paver lights uh, accents it extremely well. Into here, so this is actually brand spanking new for this year. We've got our two flagship products, uh, which you guys are aware of. It's yeah, Origins Dimensions. Origins is a three-piece textured a slab style paver. Our Dimensions is the same three-piece concept smooth contemporary. We've just entered in this paver here called Basalt. Now we are working with a different, yes, this one right here, this is Basalt. This? So it is okay. a three piece, it is a different texture out there. Um, it's almost like a dimpled. Oh, okay. What colors for this? So this one here is uh, Scandina Gray. It comes in Midnight, Cotswold Mist, Danville Beige, and I believe Ashbury Haze. What else, I, I see. This is our art forms, man. So this, yeah, so this here, I think, honestly, is gonna be a game changer for you and your company. This product, it's two pieces. You got a large panel piece, which is 18 by 36. And then we have an accent piece, which is gonna be under this bar, which is an eight by 16. Just two pieces, 
a lot of variety, a lot of options. Uh, it is a panel system. It is, uh, it's all tongue and groove. And if you can see down here with the camera, it's all held together with stainless steel uh, hardware. So there's anchor slides that are gonna go into these grooves and then locked together with stainless steel as corner brackets, extension brackets, uh, outside corner, inside corner brackets, and then extender plates. Very, very quick. This pillar here was put together two guys, two minutes. So it's a very fast, it's something high end. Uh, it looks expensive, it's super easy, fast to use. Just a quick check-in. We walked around, I'm gonna say half of the show already. Saw so many interesting things, like I said, in technology where it's gotten us even, you know, with just with, not just with machines, pavers, met a bunch of great people, even people that, that I just known from uh, Instagram, Facebook. It's been awesome so far right now. I think we're gonna get some lunch because I'm hungry. All right, we just got back from lunch. We checked out the first room. Now we're gonna check out the second room and see what we have here. So we're gonna find my boy, uh, Michael from Techo Block. I haven't seen him in person in a long time, man. Hey, look at you, what's Dude. up, brother? How you doing? I, like, I haven't seen you in a long time. Yeah. Hey, do you mind catching up in a little bit? I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back around. Yeah, come back. All right, we'll come back to them right now. We'll, uh, cause I definitely want to show them what they have new for 2023. So we'll come back. All right, so I'm here with Justin from Unilock. Like Alex said, I'm Justin with Unilock. I'm his rep, I cover the South suburbs. We have a bunch of new products. Um, some things like existing products we've, we've revamped. revamped a little bit. So like the one here, this is our Beacon Hill Smooth. Yeah, Beacon Hill Smooth. This is our new color champagne. Very similar to that is our opal color, which actually opal we've had. Brought it back? We've had, it's back. So we've had that for a couple of years, but the new thing that we're doing with opal and this new color champagne, we're giving it the same coating that we do to Artline, Umbriano, okay. Bristol Valley. So that so is a- It's gonna be the same finish, right? Yeah, same finish. But with that coating, we're getting better stain resistance, yeah. better, uh, better color dispersion, more even coloring. But really it's that stain resistance because it's yeah. coated not only after the paver is dry, it's coated, but we also have that coating within the face mix of the concrete. So funny story is I have a patio with this. Remember the patio we did in my house now? Yes. So that's what we have this opal and it's, it's a very, very clean, modern look. Just the only thing was it would get dirty pretty fast, but it seems like with the technology you guys implemented is that's going to help it a lot. This is new or no? So we had the architectural coping uh, last year. We do a coping and also a 28 by 28 pillar cap. So the architectural coping is a, really it's unique to us in the sense that this aggregate goes all the way through. So if you do have an installation where it gets chipped or, or broken, you're not gonna see a stark white aggregate. Yeah. You're gonna see that same aggregate that you see here all the way, all the way through. So this, this is the Winter Marvel Umbriano coping. Two different variants of that. We've got a uh, chamfered edge with this one. And we're also doing it in a in a full nose. Okay. So again, same thing. This this concrete, this aggregate goes all the way through. So if it's ever damaged or chipped, it's not going to stand out to you, and and you've got some time to replace it. Do they, so you have do you have bigger pieces of these, or just uh just this size? So I'm thinking kind of like doing some like even a countertop with this because it definitely looks like granite. Countertop, steps, step treads. So you can even I would say coping. something like that. Obviously without the but you can build it to where it's like a countertop. Yeah. This fireplace module is new for this year. We started developing it last year. We had some inventory of it towards the tail end, but again, we spent a considerable amount of time really doing the R&E on it, making sure that it is the dimensions that we needed, but it's a really versatile system in the sense that the application here is for a fire trough and a, and a see-through. If you want to do a typical fireplace, different configuration, you're gonna add your, your slide in fire insert, Backside will be covered. And then, you know, we have a couple different options with regards to the, you know, mantles and different chimneys that you can go from here. I mean, yeah. really the sky's the limit with this. You can go, if, you know, if you have a really big pavilion that you got to poke through that roof, yeah. you're going to be yeah. able to do that because we have the chimney modules. The Arcana paver is definitely unique to us. It's uh, made on a special press called the Hermetic Press. 
So it's a two inch thick product. It's gonna be two, two inches thick on each corner in the middle, all over. It's gonna be a very precise measurement on that. Couple different sizes, 12 by 24, 18 by 24, and a 24 by 24. This is our Sereno paver, again, made on that hermetic press. A Little bit different finish, flamed finish. Two colors, we have the Toscana beige and the the gray, one size, keeping it simple, 16 by 32. The other thing too about the Arcana and the Sereno, these both have our Easy Clean, just like the Beacon Hill Smooth Champagne and Opal do. All right, man, we got a few more few more minutes and we're gonna head out, so cool. it's nice seeing you. Great seeing you, thank, thank you for, you for all your help, business man. this year and we appreciate it and look forward to what you uh, create in 2023. A lot coming, man. <laughs> a lot of new changes, so I'm excited. Keep me busy. Oh, we will, we will. <laughs> All right, All man. Guys, thanks thank so you. much. So we're at, here with Tegelbot, and also we're here with Mike, which I'll let you introduce yourself, and I want to be able to show him around like what you guys have for 2023. Yes. Hey, I'm Michael with Tegelbot. I'm the local rep for the South Chicago land. I also cover a little portion of Northwest Indiana and Central Illinois. Some of the new stuff we got, I'll take you over so, here. This, this, this gotta be new. Yeah. Oh so, yeah, yeah, okay. So, so this is our Industria Flora. It's a two by two slab. We've always had our Industria slab. It's a 24 by 24 yep. by two and three eighths. But this year we added this shot blast texture. We call it Granitex. So you got six separate designs. Cool thing is, is they're all sold separately. So, and we, and we sell it by the layer. So if, you want to do two or four or if you want to mix and, match, mix and match you have that flexibility this is our borealis uh wood plank paver it's a five by 30 we also sell it in a 10 by 30. it is sealed from the factory so it has our clean block technology stain resistance get scratch protected not scratch proof but scratch protected so very very cool and we're kind of, we're, we're kind of promoting that technology uh we got it over here on our aberdeen and then um what technology the um the, the clean block clean block yep okay yeah i feel like this is a pretty bad badass um look I, I don't think anybody has it looks like what i mean i've seen it installed right not in person which i would like to this first time i seen it in person it's a pretty badass look it looks like wood so this is our fascia wall it's a it's a wet cast wall with a fascia with the use utilizing the fascia panels this is our core block it's a double-sided core block used for freestanding walls Cool thing is, is we pour this vertically, so you'll never have a height tolerance issue. If you do have an issue, it would be left to right, which it doesn't matter, right? So that's huge, yeah. Yeah, we also have our corner units where the texture wraps around the side. You have a left corner and a right corner. So you get 16 per pallet. You get eight left corners, eight right corners. So this is just a different, the same thing, just different color, yeah. right? So this is just the wall panel. So this is not a corner panel. Uh, so this is our iconic. It's got that smooth, sleek slate texture. And then we also have our Rosemount collection, which that's more of like a stacked stone, more cultured stone look. It's pretty badass, I like it. What about this, is this, this new too? Yeah. So this is Travertino, we've always had it, but we changed, we added the clean block technology to this. So it's got a sheen to it. Again, stain resistant, scratch protected. It'll help against your organic stains like leaves. And, yeah. and this is Aberdeen. This has a nice natural stone slate texture to it. But it's, it's not, it's, it's a block, right? It's not no, natural. no, that's a paver. It's a paver, yeah. And then over here, you kind of see some of the different sizes that we offer. So this is, a, this is a 20 by 20. It's also available in a 20 by 30, which is the large rack. And then the smaller one is a 20 by 10. So this right here. Yep. And if you want to get even bigger, it's available in a 30 by 30. And the thing is, can you move it with a vacuum? Because it's got the, yep. remember, it's got the texture. Is yep. the vacuum yeah. will still pick it up? Yep, vacuum will still pick it up. And then the other thing we're promoting too, uh, it's our Hardscaper Showcase. Uh, it's February 17th in Naperville. Paper Pete will be coming to town doing a little bit of education for you guys. All right, man. Appreciate nice it. seeing you. Yeah. We gotta get lunch sometime. Yeah, we do. We have to, so we now gotta make time. Now that we're getting back to normal. Uh, man, it was always normal for me. <laughs> yeah, it was never normal. <laughs> right. Okay. All right, dude. Hey, thanks for stopping by. Okay. All right, we're here at Russo's Hold Power on. Equipment. Christian. <laughs> and we're, as you can see on the back, I'm still trying to figure out who's gonna talk, but I wanna be able to show you guys what's new this year. Well, we'll let them tell you what's new, what's your favorite machine, whatever it is. So first, let me let you, uh, introduce yourself. Awesome. Uh, yeah, my name's Jesus. I've been working for Russo Power for the last six years. It'll be seven years in June. 
Uh, I'm in the sales division. Yeah, so let's start with what's what's new for 2023. This Dingo is one of the newer pieces of equipment. You've been around long enough to remember the TX-1000, right? Yep, one of the it first was the, one, yeah. one of the first ones. This here is actually the TX-1300. So improvements that they made, they went bigger on the engine, but the biggest improvement is the boom's telescope. Yep, we've got telescopic boom. So it'll let you get up over the edge of those, those tall dump trailers and everything. Uh, Weight-wise, it also added another 300 pounds of yes. capacity, yeah. These tracks are the same width, I want to say, as the ones on the uh, wide track. Okay. Mm -hmm. So then you kind of get back to the controls, very simple controls. You've got your forward, left, backwards, left, right. See, it's uh, diesel too. Yeah, it is diesel. Uh, the nice thing about this one here, again, the controller is a little more complicated than the old one used to be because the old one just went up, down, and then- So it's more of a joystick than yeah, this one. Yeah, it's more of a joystick and it gives you the ability to, again, Extend. Let's extend. Let's get, let me get on here for uh, like size. Let's see how big it is. But it is going to run you. I want to say 52 inches wide. So as far as price, what are these going for? They're I see Liz price, but yes, the Russo price on the bottom is what it's going for. So you're looking it's at about 51, 51,000. 51, yeah. So Russo's hooking you up. <laughs> All right. And I, what I like about it is diesel because I've tried. Uh, I'll be honest. My, we run about 15 crews. Yeah and we don't have any small like we just have big track holders my guys don't like <laughs> they don't like the smaller ones um because I, I like i think all the ones we've tried they've been gas so i think trying a diesel one will be i, I think you, yeah you're definitely huge, gonna yeah. notice the power plus again i know your guys like the big track loaders yeah but you know as well as i know that those track loaders do not fit everywhere well that's that's the thing, that's a yeah. mention if you think about it a lot of times you're like well we can just take down the fence and put it back up but yeah. taking down the fence Cost time and labor. Yeah, yeah. So. And even for like Decker Rock and other, you know, small Absolutely. miscellaneous projects and all that. So what, is there any other piece of equipment that you guys have that's, that's coming out for 2023? So actually this right here, prior to this unit, the biggest unit that they had was a 96 inch Batwing. Now this one is 144 inches, so it's 12 foot wide. Diesel as well. So again, one of the advantages of this over your traditional 16 foot, 18 foot Batwing is the fact that you can trailer this on a regular trailer. I want to say it's 72 inches wide as far as the platform the wings folded up and everything what else what else i see some back what is that a backpack spray what it oh that's actually still's new line of battery equipment so you know how most of your traditional battery you you insert a battery into it this is a battery you wear on your back so it's going to give you about seven eight hours of runtime so is this a whole new line for uh steel yes so okay. they've had this in the past but you'll actually notice that instead of having a place to insert the battery there's a location for a cord so, you put that on your, so you'll that actually put that on the back. back there's a cord that comes off of it and the cord attaches to here oh okay so i mean you're starting to see a lot of yeah it's starting to come into even more that are they're uh you know, battery a power of, and yeah, all a that. lot of towns like, uh, for example, Evanston's a big one. They do not want gas power in their in their city. So that's something new that I didn't know until right now. Yeah. There's certain towns that are already having those guidelines to where you can't have gas powered equipment. It's crazy. That's that's huge. That means we're going to be forced into something else. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's going to I know it's yeah. uncomfortable. I know most guys don't think that that's a change that they want to see in their lifetime. But yeah. I feel like it's coming sooner than we think. I'm a, I'm a big Diesel blowing smoke in person. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> All right, man. All right, Once again, nice seeing you again. Nice seeing you. But uh, stay tuned for uh, the expansion of Russo's power equipment. And as usual, they always bringing on uh, customer, great customer service. So stay awesome. tuned. I right, wrapping up the day here at the iLandscape show. We had a blast. Um, we definitely got to catch up with a lot of people that we don't get to see a lot, but. I'm super excited to bring this video to you guys to kind of show you guys as an end consumer what new things are coming into the market and um, just stay tuned for a lot more new things that are, that are being implemented and you know for you guys to be able to use it. It's definitely going to be a lot more that we're going to be able to show you in this video so just uh, stay looking out for all the new technology that these guys are pushing out.